Ooh, that's a good trade. Apple cider for saplings. Okay, greetings everybody and welcome back to another episode of Serious Cruises Adventures in Vivo Tech Pack. It is 5 a.m. I am tired as hell. <laughs> but I am working on something. And this is something qu hopefully quick. And I just decided, you know what, before I finish this all off camera, I'm just going to record this as well. Um, so, similar to what we have here, where we auto produce those seeds. There are some ores in this game that you cannot um, like uh, put into a machine to get the most out of it. Like for example the diamond ore. You can smell it for one diamond, you can put it in an enrichment chamber to get guaranteed two diamonds. Uh, but there's nothing that gives you something like the uh, the fortune effect would give you uh, up to four, di yeah, four uh, diamonds. So I want to build something over here, and I'm kind of running into a cave that does exactly that for us. Um, I always have to, I'm going to use the ruby oil as an example, I always have to use the, uh, like a fortune pickaxe on those things. Um, and it's kind of tedious, especially if you like have the digital miner mining like stacks and stacks of those things. Um, so I want to just do it normally. Let's double check though if the ruby actually works. So this gives you one each, two this time it's three actually oh wow okay um let's see if we actually get fortune and i made last episode i showed you we got uh the uh, the eldritch stuff and i made a void pickaxe so this is using the um the void metal which you get by just one seed and eight metallum and the cool thing about this is it doesn't have a high dur durability it's actually really weak um but it does have warping, and warping, what it does, it, it repairs your pickaxe over time. So let's actually see if this gives us more. Uh, that was four. Okay, that was a good, good thing right there. Four. Just one. Hmm. I don't know if Ruby is getting affected by this. To be honest, that might not be the best example. What do I have in here that gives you? Uh, that would give you more though. Oh, Lapis. Well, Lapis, I'm sure there's a machine that can do this, isn't there? Uh, 12. Yeah, you get 12 from that. Uh, I need something that, uh, but, uh, you know what? I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Lapis as a test. Cause everything else in here right now, I think, is fine. Um, Peridot. No, that's the same one. Yeah. Or oh, is Ruby... Wait, what's Ruby from? Project Rat. Maybe it's different. That will give me one... One... Okay, let's see with Fortune 3. Oh yeah, okay, that works. Okay, that gives us a lot more. I don't think we get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's double check with a normal pickaxe. It's just one. Okay. So that, that will be a good test. Um, oh, hi! So... Similar to what I have here, I have a transfer node at this bottom that just picks up items that fall onto it. And uh, right now I have it connected via uh, ME cable. <laughs> via ME cable back to the other thing over there. So it just gets imported when uh, when stuff falls. I assume it points directly into the interface. So uh, what I want to do is I have one autonomous activator here that just right clicks. So this guy is supposed to... Actually, this needs to be input. There we go. This guy is supposed to place the ore. So let's put that in there. Yep, it places it. Uh, we will have glass all around this here eventually. I'm just going to do this for now. Um, yeah. Do I have a... Actually, let me... Let me see. Do I have a glass? Glass is probably better. Uh, we can use any glass, really. Let's use... This one, that's the same one we use over there. Enlightened clear glass, yes. Okay, just so it doesn't fall off. Also, it lights up this place, which is kind of cool. Uh, let us, so, let's see. Okay, so this guy places the ore. This is where we export our ore into. And then the back guy is actually going to left click with our void pickaxe. All right, let's see if this works. Ah, oh, yes, it does. It does spit out the... Um, the ore a little bit. I think we might have to move this up by one. Okay, hold on. And the, and it should repair itself. Hopefully, 
Uh, it doesn't look like it's fast enough in repairing, actually. We might have to set up a timer or something so it doesn't go too crazy. The problem is I can't use the uh, the repair um, enchantment anymore because you need a wand to repair it now. It doesn't just repair it over time out of, out of nothingness. You actually need the wand to do it. Oh, that's interesting. It's like half damaged. Okay, so, well, it's not too bad. Let's, um... How would we do this? I guess we would have to move both up. Yeah. Move both of them. Let me get this uh, set up and I'll be right back. Alrighty, this should work. Uh, my PlayStation 3 is updating right now. I'm kind of worried that my PlayStation 4 might upgrade uh, update soon too, which might uh, switch my monitor off for a second because it's like hooked up to the same monitor. Hopefully not though. Okay, this guy's right click still. So this time... That is stupid. Why would you do that? Can we do aim high instead? Okay, I don't I don't want it to be placed there. Ah, come on. What about aim low? No! Okay, here's plan C. Alright. We have them side by side. So this is gonna be the or one. Mm hmm why no don't do that okay this time aim high yes this time aim high works okay oh god those guys uh and you get my void pickaxe and left click uh, it still gets shot out all right time for more drunken engineering uh let's this time use phosphorite it doesn't matter if it gives me more than one god damn it also, one thing I just noticed, the, the Void Pickaxe doesn't actually repair when it's in the Autonomous Activator. So, that doesn't work. Plan E, I think? Let's use a Redstone to I mean, Timer. Alright, only active with a signal. The right-click one. Let's see if that's gonna be enough time. So now it shouldn't do stuff. Ooh, strange whispers. I'm getting uh, bad warp effects now, actually. I don't know if something's gonna happen here, but let's see. Okay. <laughs> First of all, am I? Okay. Okay, <laughs> that's solved. I kind of lost that and I don't have my pickaxe in there. Uh, can you edit those? I don't think you can. God damn it. Guys, I think I've got it. Kinda looks like it. Nothing is on the side. <laughs> okay, let's try. Let's try without the timer. Let's just do it normal. Yes. All I had to do. I thought. So I think. Oh, we are talking too soon. Oh no, that was just a glitch. Visual glitch. It's not sucking in the item though. Or maybe it's. Oh, it's just slow. Gonna have to install a speed upgrade, maybe. Um, the only issue was... Well, maybe if you... Let's actually see. If I remove this here, is it gonna spell out? Yeah. They're actually there, right? Oh, no, they aren't. It's just a visual glitch. Okay. Oh, well, this is gonna be covered anyway. Um, so the problem was there was a block above. So, they cut, so that it can't place anything. And as soon as an item spawned... It would place a block here again, so the item was completely uh, encased in a block. And what items tend to do then is just go upwards. But since there was a block there, it just, you know, was stuck in that block. So it kept going up, up, up until it could like spill out. Um, I kind of solved this by just putting a half step there. And it seems to be working. This guy, however, is it just slow or is he not actually pulling those in? Uh, it's hard to 
tear. I wonder if the experience points caused some issues there. Why wouldn't you pull that in? That is quite interesting. Maybe maybe it can't directly connect to the interface. Oh, maybe it's really that many. Uh, how about, let's see. What upgrades do we have? We actually do have the stack upgrade, which should allow it to pull in multiple items at once and a speed upgrade. Let's, uh, let's install those and see if it actually pulls, because Lapis gives you so many blocks when you silk touch them. 64, see? Oh, okay, okay. So much there's an issue with uh, the item itself. So we don't probably need to stack upgrade, uh, the speed upgrade. Okay, that works then. Okay, cool. There is our automatic or processing. And I'm just going to export items into there that we can't process into uh, in those machines like diamonds and stuff. Um, like I said, though, this is a problem. What I could do here, um, let's think about this. Um, I could add something where, well, I'm not sure. If it's in a chest, it won't recharge either, right? No, okay. Only if it's in your inventory. Okay. Ah, we, we can find something. I'll have to look into that a little bit, but I'm gonna build this room first, just so it's like designed, and then that should be good. Ooh, we have some nice thunderstorm again. Uh, in that case, let me just turn on the weather a little bit, so it's easier for me to talk. Um, so it's actually the next day again, but I did finish this up. Um, I made a few modifications to this, and I just saw my display isn't working. Ah, I have to fix that. Uh, those uh, advanced information panels, they don't work the way they should work. Still, I wish there was an update for this. I might have to manually update this and see if it works. Um, but what I did is um, I still have problems with stuff flying out after a while. So you can kind of hear it. Um, I actually do have a timer now at the back, a redstone timer. Uh, not the one I used the last time, uh, but this guy because it lets you uh, it lets you specify how often it should get triggered. So right now it's set to two seconds and it works just fine. A little bit of light issues or light uh, glitches in there. And I also swapped them around so this guy is actually placing the blocks now and this guy is breaking it uh, just because uh, it's closer to the uh, ME cable so it's easier for it to grab it and place it. Um, and I also made a bunch of well, two in this case, two diamond pick axes with bows, I'm ranking three, efficiency four, fortune two, uh, three. So that should be good. Um, now the question is, do I have stuff to do or to use? Yes, I do. Hold on. Uh, Altanen was so awesome and gave me a bunch of his um, Stormcraft shots. Wow, it's getting crazy out there. Oops stuck on my own statue so let's put this in our system and it should automatically work now and a cool side effect is you get a lot of experience points from this uh, before this was blocked off but you get so many experience points that it actually starts to lag my game so I decided to just uh, put a half slip there so I can actually pick them up if I want and yeah there we go it's not as fast now but it doesn't have to be like this is totally fine and because we have the speed upgrades in there and the stack upgrade, it picks them up really quickly too. So yeah, there we go. Uh, only thing is I have to provide it with fortune pickaxes, but that should be okay. I tried to look at some other ones, uh, other pickaxes that could potentially be um, repaired all the time. Like what I could do is have a Tinker's Construct pickaxe with a flux charge thing on it. And then uh, if it's empty, Pull it out of out of uh, this uh, autonomous activator and just charge it and put it back in. But um, I don't know. Getting fortune pickaxes is not too difficult if we with our like uh, enchanting system over there. So it should be fine. Uh, by the way, Eltanen also gave me a second gift. <laughs> so many gifts. Um, I gave him a tropical queen. We had trouble finding uh, tropical bees on the server for some reason. It's hard to find a jungle. Uh, but I happened to found one and I don't even remember where I believe it was in one of the 
villages. Villages have like a, a, a bee villages now. Um, and I think I found one there. So I gave that to him because he's doing the bee stuff right now. He's making a lot of progress on that because he's the bee guy. Uh, so he gave me an AP, apiarist uh, set, which is pretty awesome. This is going to be so useful when we start setting up our bees. There are some that will hurt you if you get too close. And uh, if you have the suit, you can actually be protected. And you only get that by getting the products from the bees that do hurt you. So you kind of have to go through that pain first, I guess. But now I don't. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. Very cool gift. Um... And I don't think I shot this yet, but I started expanding here. Is it night time? No, I kind of want to sleep this rain away. Uh, did I show this off? I don't think I did, but uh, maybe I did. But uh, yeah, I'm running out of space here and I want to add more spawners. So I made this little bridge. So I think I'm going to start place down some decoration down here just to make it a little bit nicer. I'm getting quite a frame rate like right now because of the rain. Um, but yeah, and then the base continues this way. Um, I was actually planning on putting my bees over there. Uh, but thinking about it, I think I'm going to move the bees over here. And keep this side for like uh, mob spawners and stuff like that. Because otherwise, um, like I mentioned before, I don't know much. I don't know what I would place here. And this tunnel would be really short. And this tunnel would get really long. Because I want a pretty big area for my bees. Oh, I think it stopped. Still getting terrible frames for some reason. Oh well. So I'm going to work on that a little bit. Uh, and uh, I should be back soon. Right now my screen is kind of red. That's because I am affected by the unnatural hunger 3 effect. <laughs> which, is a, which is a warp effect. And it lasts quite a while and it makes me extremely hungry. I actually starved to death earlier from that. <laughs> I don't know if you, if that's still in here. Uh, yes, there it is. A sudden and not unnatural hunger consumes you. Seriously, was starved to death. <laughs> I was AFK, and it happened. So I need to fix that soon. I need to, uh, I need to make some of that basalt. Uh, but yeah, I placed some grass down here. I added some water, just coming from up here. I kind of want to remove the torches though, so we don't have like just light up here. I made some of those glowing flowers, let's place down more grass. Um, just, you know, like, I don't know, uh, what's it called? Torches don't feel right in this place, kind of. Uh, I should also probably should add some, some tall grass here and there, maybe even some reeds, I don't know. Um, I could add some vines, just gonna... Spam it a little bit, a little bit random, because it is nature after all. Um, oh, I made that flower spark, sparkly. I don't know why. Oh, I'm about to starve again. God damn it! This effect is the most annoying one so far. All right, uh, we can add some down here. Uh, okay, let's actually place down some of those flowers. I guess where I have the torches, just so it's lit up a little bit, but it doesn't like. Um, it doesn't it doesn't have to be super bright um, Nothing should be able to come upstairs. Hopefully Let's Place one there. I want to see this at night time actually um, But with this weird light effect right now, it's kind of difficult all of these are glimmering flowers So they actually glow at night uh, Maybe how many do I have left? Oh quite a few four one here It's invisible um, Maybe some up here, so there's a little bit of light too. Uh huh. Okay, it's it passed that effect. Uh, we can bone meal this now that it grew grass. Very cool. Uh, yeah, vines. Uh, vines might be cool, and yeah, like I said, uh, some reeds. I actually, I am out of bone meal right now. Let's see where else. Uh, is that a glimmering one? No, let's place one there. There we go. Might look cool at night. I don't know. Oh, I wish I had more there. That's ah, okay. Uh, can I actually reach my system from here? Oh, I can. Let's just get more. Do I have some vines? No. Do I have sugar canes? I do. Uh, I don't want to add too many, but maybe a couple here and there. I guess I don't really have to grow them. They're going to grow on their own. Um, but still. 
I might add a cool effect. If it's like spread out a little bit. Maybe on this side. Oh, I can't because there's something next to it. Or maybe the water doesn't count. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Maybe on this side. Just one. I mean, they're going to grow anyway. I like the random stuff. Like the random nature. What does it look like? Ah, yeah, I think that's fine. You can't really see that much. You can kind of look down too. There's a little bit of glass. Uh, I think that's fine. And then we have the bone meal. Maybe add some here and there. In those corners. Can people walk up here? Uh, they actually might be able to. I might have to get rid of this. Do this have dirt on me? No. Yeah, I'll leave it like this for now. I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh... Let's just go around and spam it quite a bit here and there. Just to get that random effect. If I hit something good, if I don't, whatever. Uh, there we go. <laughs> and it's getting nighttime. You can see it's glowing. I'm going to remove that for now. Uh, is there any other torch down here? No. It's only glowing flowers now, I think. Yeah. I think it looks cool. And yeah, I can add some vines down, hanging down from here. I don't think I have any anywhere actually oops uh, might have to go grab some they are growing on my house outside so I can just uh, cut some off but yeah I'll do that off camera for next time um I think this episode is getting long I think it looks neat I might take I might uh, clean up the wall a little bit maybe get rid of the ores and the dirt and just replace everything with smooth stone um but yeah should be cool so I hope you guys enjoy thanks for watching and I'll see you next time Bye-bye.